Hi everyone! Welcome to Bikini Design Club. Today we will be sewing our swimsuit pattern Mia. I have my back piece and my front piece for my pattern with the fold line and uh, it's also mentioned on the pattern about the straps uh, that go around and we will also need two small rings for the back. I will use this as my main fabric and this one as my second fabric. So let's start cutting our fabrics. We now have our rings, uh, two small ones with one centimeter, and then we have two back pieces, two front pieces, main fabric, second fabric, and two straps for our swimsuit. So let's start by uh, placing right sides facing together, front and back, and let's pin all around except this part on the front. So let me show you how we can start doing this and then I will do it fast, fast forwards. So uh, grab your back and place it like if it was assembled and you can see that this uh, the back will fit here so you can mark here a small line and the same on this side. Okay. Now right sides facing together of the white one and also of our main fabric. Let me see, like this. So I want my lines that I've just made facing outwards so that I can see them. So right sides facing together of my fabrics and I'm going to pin my neckline, my side until the the mark that I've made, okay, so if it's easier for you, you can mark this with a pin, okay, so you know you can pin until your pin, and then leg holes, so leg holes, side from here up, and neckline. On the back, we can pin uh, the center back uh, here, and then also this part here, we do not do anything on the sides, we do the leg holes and that's it. So let's pin. We now have our back pinned, so leg holes, sides, center and we also have our front, leg holes, neckline, side until the place that we've marked with the pin or with a trace. So let's sew applying elastic uh, everywhere except the sides, okay? And I will always apply elastic on my main fabric sides facing up on my machine, so I will apply elastic on the reversible pieces on my main fabric. So I will place the fabric like this on my machine and start sewing. I will do it slowly on this area here on of the um, of the center front because of the V shape that I want to be very defined on my uh, pattern. So I will do this area slowly, the rest I will go fast forward. So I'm now reaching the center of my uh, front, which means that I'm gonna go with the, um, with the elastic and when I'm near the center I will stop, I will go to my straight stitch machine and then we'll be back. I'll do this slowly and I will explain you after in detail what I've done. I'm going to place my, my elastic on the same place. I'm going to use an elastic stitch and I'm going to come over until the V uh, neck of my front. And then I will cut the elastic and I will do the same 
on the other side, starting with this machine and then going to the other one. So what I've done here was I uh, continued my elastic until uh, near the middle and then uh, using an elastic stitch I did this V-shape here in front. I'm going to reinforce this area again and then I will just continue placing the elastic here and move to the overlock machine. So now I'm going to reverse my straps to the right side using my loop turner and uh, I will also uh, trim these sharp edges of my elastic on all the sides that I find edges I will smoothen them so cut them and uh, in this area I'm going to do a zoom so that you can see in detail what I'm gonna do okay so I made sure I secured my overlock threads because I got, went over to my straight stitch machine and secured them with the, you see the red lines, so I secured my overlock threads. So now I'm feeling comfortable enough to cut them and try to design my corner a little bit more. I'm also going to trim the excess elastic here like this and this sharp edge like this and this will be my my V front center from the top. I think I've told you not to apply elastic on the sides if I did sorry we need to apply elastic of course we need to apply elastic because this is not connected to any other part of our swimsuit so we need elastic we will not apply elastic on this area because this area will be sewn over the four layers of fabric with the back piece so here we will not place elastic but the rest yes we place elastic other detail that maybe you have seen me doing is cutting a little bit my elastic as you can see here I have small places where I've just uh, cut it my elastic and you can see them here well I do this because I want my um, my edge of the fabric once it's on the right side to lay flat and to to be pretty on my body and so I do this I know that in theory we should not uh, cut the elastic because it can rip or I know that but uh, this is the way I do it to make sure that the round shapes are really perfect so once you have trimmed everything let's just uh, reverse the back to the right side and insert right sides facing together insert our back inside our front and align the sides and the crotch area also if we want to help ourselves uh, in this process the best option is for you to reverse the straps and in first insert the straps uh, to your top part of the of the swimsuit insert them and pin them in place and then we will reverse this and insert it inside because while we have this open we can easily put the the, um, the strap here okay so let's do it So with your straps uh, and your seam facing the side that you want, make sure that you, you choose the size, the side, sorry. So I'm choosing the seam towards the white fabric. I insert it through the side open. I slide it here and matching here the ends, I will clip or pin and it's ready to sew. I will secure the straps with a straight stitch using my elastic stitch but with a straight stitch machine uh, and I will secure both straps in place. If you want to see a, speci a specific video that I have on straps, uh, go to our channel and uh, check out the video on straps. Uh, this pattern is designed for this specific side of strap so the strap will fit perfectly on the pattern and it will be uh, very very nice once it's sewn in place and it's finished if you want to use this as a reversible i would tell you to on the two uh, back uh, top 
you will see uh, a place where the straps will meet. Uh, I would uh, sew this on my straight stitch machine so it will not be a hole, it will be finished and cleaned and so once it's on the right side and you and you fold it to put the ring, it's uh, the finish is a bit better but uh, I will leave it like this because I really don't mind having uh, this raw uh, finish. So it's optional for you. Okay. Now right sides facing together, so your red with your red. Insert, make sure it's not twisted. And insert aligning the crotch area and both sides. Then we will be sewing over the four layers of fabric. If you are a beginner and this is the first time you sew over the four layers, probably it will not be perfect on your first attempt. But this is something that uh, once you get used to sewing the four layers, it's not that difficult and it's the best way to make sure that uh, you can assemble almost any pattern that you have on your hands. So when I, when I aligned this, in the beginning I did a lot of hand stitching to make sure that the, the, um, the seams stayed exactly where I want them. Nowadays I don't do the, the stitching by hands that often, it's rare, but if you feel more secure, if it's your first time doing the four layers, I would tell you to do exactly as I did on my beginning. I sewed with my hand stitch uh, the corners to make sure that this stays where we want it to be. Uh, if you want, you, ha you have videos that are older than, than this one where I do that hand stitching. Now without twisting the pattern, don't forget, align the sides, pin and then we will be ready to go and sew over the four layers of fabric. So remember when we sewed the side and we marked more or less the place where we had our back? Even if you see that there's a small gap here, that's not a problem because we will sew it over. So I started from my leg hole up. I started pinning there and then without stretching the fabric I just aligned the four layers of fabric and I pinned them together. I'm not worried about uh, um, missing a small hole here because once we go to the sewing machine everything will be closed. You can sew over these, these areas with your overlock but personally I like to use my straight stitch machine with an elastic stitch because I like to trim some parts, uh, especially the corners, once I'm done. So I'm going to my straight stitch machine and I will sew over the sides, the crotch and securing the two straps. So we haven't finished yet, don't go yet, um, but don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep following us. Well, now that I've secured all the areas, I'm going to trim, as you've seen, I've sewn some areas twice because I want to make sure that this is uh, perfectly secure. Now I'm going to trim, without cutting the threads of course, I'm going to trim the excess fabric so I know that this is not bulky on the right sides. And I will do this for all the areas that we have been just sewing now. So I cut everything that I can so that it's not bulky. When we were on the straight stitch machine, I reinforced my stitches here. So now I can make a hole and reverse the entire swimsuit through that hole. So make the hole where you think it's best for you. For me it's down here. I will open the hole, I will reverse the piece to the right side and we will be ready to do our finishing touches to secure our rings for the straps. 
I tend to make my holes a bit too small than I should. You should do like something like half an inch probably or a little bit more uh, in centimeters, one and a half centimeter and I always end up doing less than I should so sometimes it's hard for me to reverse the the swimsuit but well it is what it is <laughs> so let's reverse it and then we will be able to do the finish touches so we still have some things to do first I want you to see the side so this is how the side turned out okay and then uh, and the and the bottom uh, now we need to close this uh, I do this by hand with a letter stitch I'm gonna do it now uh, and I'll try to focus to zoom in so that you can see uh, regarding the straps here what I do is with my rings I'm gonna use this on the on the coral side I like to see a little bit of the white but I will use it for sure on the on this side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just very simply I put here my ring I fold the end of this and I do some stitches we can you can do the stitches by hand or on your sewing machine I'm going to the sewing machine to do them so I'm sure that they are secure um, but you can do it by hand or on your sewing machine so just put it here remember that I told you that you could have made the uh, perfect finish for these straps if you wanted to well if you have now they will be amazing okay so I now put this well if you have strap adjusters you can also put a place strap adjusters to your straps but um, it's very hard for me in Portugal to find strap adjusters where I can fit my, my straps uh, there are for bras but not for swimwear and so I never like the results so that's why I never use them so if you place this here you can tie a knot or a small bow or anything else and it will be finished regarding the end here I just simply cut and I consider this finished I cut on both sides and I'm done so stitch this then uh, regarding this I'm gonna zoom in and try to see if you can follow so fold both fabrics inwards so that you you will not see any seams I'm going to insert the first stitch inside so that my knot is hidden inside and now folding both of them this is not turning out amazingly but okay so with this folded and this one folded you match them together see and now this is always this, the, met, the same method from beginning to the end so you are on the orange side you cross straight in front for the white sides you go three or four millimeters to the sides and come out then you do exactly the same you come straight across to the to the coral sides you go in for half a centimeter less two millimeters and so so cross just in front to the opposite fabric two millimeters to the sides and stitch and we will do this for one until the, the end and then sometimes I even come back and I do exactly the same so I do it twice it depends on if you want to really make this close and perfect or if uh, you don't care that much so you will decide if you want to do it twice once you are on your last stitches usually what I do is I go with my needle here so I'm kind of giving a knot already okay and now I'm going inside my fabric 
oh sorry maybe you are not seeing it so I'm going again inside let me check like this so I already gave a knot okay so I know that it is secure but I'm still coming again to this side and crossing to the other one sometimes more to make sure that this is completely secure another knot and now I will tie a knot and I just go with my needle through the middle of the fabrics and I will come out like here I pull and I cut and once you do that the thread will miss inside your fabric and that's that's it so in detail if you want to see how my straps turned out here they are my thread is not co my, the color of my fabric because I don't have it so you can see my, my thread but if it was on the color it would be even more uh, nicer and then on the other side I also have a little stitch okay so this is ready now you just need to tie your straps here with a bow or a tie uh, or with a bow or a knot and uh, your swimsuit will be ready uh, make sure that your uh, top straps are secure and you are happy with the result I'm gonna take some pictures and share with you guys and I hope you like it